Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects before I begin. I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Everfork. Um, this project launched uh, not that long ago. Uh, they had a successful pre-sale on, on Pink Sale. Uh, I believe it was a 500 BNB hard cap. Uh, of which they did fill. I believe this took less than, I don't know, uh, 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. Uh, they filled it pretty quickly. Um, and uh, let's see here. What else can I tell you looking at my notes? They are KYC unit with Pink Sale. Um, some people uh, actually, you know, when you look at, um, you know, this particular token, they did something unique, you know, which was 25% BUSD in the first hour, I believe, of the pre-sale. And then they went, you know, down to their normal uh, 13%. Um, I know that some people, you know, reported like, you know, $650, $700, you know, in the first, in the first day, um, you know, where they, where they launched uh, this project. So pretty incredible uh, BUSD rewards as far as this token is concerned. Um... They've got utilities that will be coming, you know, for this token. The team is um, is pretty active and engaged, you know, from what I could tell on the Telegram. Um, they've got staking that's supposed to be coming. Uh, I believe that should maybe be in a couple of days. However, my understanding in regards to the staking from the communication that's been articulated, you know, in the in the um, in the Telegram is that you're not going to be able to get BUSD while you're staked. So, you know, let's take another project, you know, like um, uh, like Brew Labs, you know, where you stake their, you, you enter their staking pools, you stake the token, you get BUSD while you're also staked. Now, those things are things that are built into the contract, you know, where that would happen, right? So, but for this particular project, um, you can use stake, but they have, you know, their APY that we're seeing here at over 235%, um, you know, when you stake. So you're going to be getting a pretty high APY. But also understand, I don't, if this works the same way as any other pool, this is not going to be a fixed APY. Now, if anybody from the team sees this video and I'm incorrect on this, by all means, let me know. But with most staking pools, the more people at stake, your APY comes down. So, and I believe that this pool will probably be the same unless someone, you know, clarifies uh, that it is not. So, but the sooner you get into the pool, I would, I would believe the faster, you know, that you get to take advantage, you know, of the higher of, or of the highest APY. So, but yeah, if you're staking, then you get, you know, the advantage of the APY, which earns you more you know, of their native token. Um, if you're not staking, you know, then obviously you're being able to take advantage of the BUSD rewards. Now, for some people, I mean, their strategy needs to go ahead and go into this, you know, which is, okay, if we don't have a lot of volume, then yeah, probably makes sense to stake, right? And if we have more of the volume, then it makes sense to not be staking so you can get the BUSD rewards. So, why would you want to stake, you know, other than the APY? Well, again, if you've got low volume, then in my personal opinion, I think that it makes sense to uh, to stake the token, you know. But if there's a bunch of volume, then maybe that's where you want to go ahead and take your tokens out so that you can take advantage of the BUSD rewards that are coming because of the, um, because of the higher volume. So just keep that in mind, you know, if you are someone that is interested in this project. Um, I also believe, you know, looking at my notes, they did get listed on CMC. Now, this happened pretty quickly within, according to what's being said in the Telegram, uh, in two hours, um, you know, after their launch, but the listing is still untracked. Now, granted, um, we just we, we just came out of the Easter, um, out of Easter, as a holiday and so knowing that you know uh, cmc and you know exchanges like you know like cmc or, or coin gecko you see my uh, you know very reduced you know um activity uh, on those types of um platforms because 
um, you know, they just don't they just don't go ahead and do any work, you know, really um, during the during the weekends. You know, obviously, I mean, like anybody else, I mean, people should have the opportunity to go ahead and be able to walk away from work. Right. You know, for a little bit, especially on the weekends to spend time with family. So uh, coin gecko and coin market cap, no different uh, in that respect. You know, so. Uh, so, yeah. So there's still so this token is still waiting to get tracked um, on CMC. So and, and here's a common question. And we'll go ahead and we'll move you know, into the walk around of this here in a minute. But a common question is, you know, why why wouldn't I see a token show up in Trust Wallet? You know, for those of you that utilize Trust Wallet, well, even if you get tracked, even if you get onto CMC, you're the the token, the the, the logo, all that stuff, it's not going to show until they're tracking the token. So tracking on the exchange is extremely important. Um, you know, for a new project because there's just things that don't happen, you know, if you're not tracked, you know, so um, and coin market cap, they have certain criteria that you have to follow in order to be tracked, um, you know, so maybe they might get tracked, maybe not, who knows, it's anybody's guess at this point. Um, but they're still fairly new, uh, I, you know, not even not even a week old. So, um, so yeah, I would imagine the team's going to continue to go ahead and do what they can do until they um, hopefully get tracked, you know, by Coin Market Cap. But it's completely up to Coin Market Cap as to what they want to do uh, concerning the tracking. I guess the team will just have to go ahead and stay in contact with CMC to uh, to figure out, you know, what's going on. What what do they need to do in order to make sure that they do get tracked on their platform? Um, so yeah, that would basically, you know, go through my notes uh, in regards to this project. So we'll, we'll keep moving on. Um, these are all the links they've got in the navigation bar, and they've got a DAP that you can use as well. Now, with the DAP, you know, it does require you to go ahead and connect your wallet. I know with some platforms, all you got to do is just go ahead and put in a wallet address. That's not the same, you know, for here with Everfork. Um, you have to go ahead and connect your wallet now. Um, in my own opinion, and you guys have heard me talk about this before on other projects, you know, if you're going to connect, um, I would always advise, in my own opinion, to... Uh, set up a separate wallet, you know, that you're going to use just for that particular token. You know, that way you're not exposing any of your other assets. Um, just in case, you know, uh, just in case. You, know, you just never know uh, what's going to happen with the project. Not highlighting any kind of shenanigans or anything like that, you know, uh, concerning Everfork at all. Uh, just simply stating that, you know, hey, I found it to be good practice uh, to go ahead and, and anytime I've got to connect <clears throat> to a private site to make sure that I am just keeping that asset, you know, with that wallet. So um, with that said, Everfork is a hyper deflationary token with wealth reflections, incredible 13% BUSD rewards. And again, it's stating that the stick is going to be live soon, which I would imagine, you know, once the stick is live, they'll probably go ahead and remove this. Um, and says here, staking live, you know, five days, you know, post launch, how much can I earn? Investing just a thousand dollars, you know, worth of worth of ever F, you can earn up to that number in a year. And we see marketing three percent of all transactions go to the marketing wallet, you know, which is helpful because obviously you need marketing to go ahead and move projects along, you know. So and sometimes I think you know projects can underestimate that, you know. So it's good to see that they've got three percent, you know, of all transactions going to the marketing wallet. And then we see BUSD rewards earn BUSD by being a holder. 13% of every buy and sell is redistributed amongst the holders automatically, which is a good number. I mean, that's on the higher end, you know, for BUSD rewards. And we see here on the tokenomics, uh, here's the ticker, you know, the total supply, um, symbol, and the fees. So you got 13%, you know, uh, here is what I was talking about in that 25% BUSD, you know, going towards holders in the first hour of their launch. Never seen that before, so that was pretty, you know, that, that's pretty interesting to see that. Um, you know, and so it seems like, you know, it worked out successfully, you know, for holders and 2% to marketing. We see on the roadmap, you guys know how much I love a good roadmap. Um, the nice thing that I can see right away is that one, we've got, we, we've got indications, you know, of what is, what's been completed. So many roadmaps we take a look at, you know, on this channel and, um, they've got a roadmap, but you're not sure, you know, what's been done, what's ongoing, what's pending, um, what's been completed. We, we, we just don't know that because there's no indicator to uh, to communicate that. But here we do see that on this roadmap that they've already gone through local website and banners, social creation, development of Everboard, AMA, audit and KYC, um, and the pre-sale, uh, the 25%, you know, they talked about, you know, the first hour post-launch, 
being rewarded to holders and the launch on, on pancake swap so and they've got a number of different things that still need to be done you know from again even though they are listed on cmc not listed here yet you know but I, maybe they won't complete this or check this off until they're tracked which you know that would make sense to me um, ever staking, you know, that staking is coming up. Uh, su surprise exchange listing. So, um, if they're like any other token, you know, I, I know me personally, I was in a token, you know, where um, they had marketing that they wanted to do, but that marketing was directly tied to making sure to, to being tracked on CMC, um, or at least one of them. You know what I mean? So. Um, Maybe that's the maybe that's the same, you know, for this token. I don't know, you know, maybe somebody from the team can clarify, you know. But, um, but yeah, that, you know, or clarify in the comments, you know. But but that is definitely something that wouldn't surprise me if um, some of this other stuff that hasn't been checked off, that you know, maybe they're just re they're ready to go and get that checked off, but they maybe they can't do it just because you know they need to get tracked first. So um, so yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know that for sure, but that's just me guessing uh, or sharing my own opinion, you know, on that. We see more uh, you know, listings, uh, Crypto Expo, Singapore 2022. I've never heard of this. That sounds interesting. Cross-chain options. Um, I love to see the cross-chain just because I think that exposure or increases exposure, you know, for, for the token. Because, um, I mean, basically that's what you're talking about, getting into bridging. Um, Asia marketing, you know, billboards, updates, you know. Uh, NFTs, partnerships, team expansion, uh, initial ever pad developments, and here it looks like we're talking about the launch pad. So, so yeah, and we've got a number of different things coming soon in terms of partners. Um, they make a comparison between, you know, ever fork, you know, and ever earn, ever earn, good project there, and ever grow, obviously another good project there. You know, so um, not highlighting, you know, through this comparison table that you know one is better than the other, just simply placing out the facts in terms of information. Um, between the three of these projects and they give you some more information here in regards to whatever ever fork is about and then a standard faq so so yeah that takes us through you know the uh the walkthrough you know of the project and then here we see that they've got their white paper which we won't go through it but just want you to be aware that it's there and completed so uh with that said that is ever fork if you are someone interested, you know, in BUSD rewards, I think BUSD rewards are a really, really cool thing um, because basically all you do is hold a token and you get rewarded in BUSD, you know. And so, you know, whether and some people go ahead and, you know, reinvest, you know, BUSD back into the project they're in where they're earning those rewards. And some people go ahead and use it for any other, you know, purposes, sometimes getting into other, you know, projects or just, you know, um, pulling it out, you know, um, you know, for their own fiat currency. So uh, whatever you do is up to you, obviously, you know, but I do tend to think that of all the things in crypto, I do like, um, in my personal opinion, BUSD rewards. Um, beyond that, um, Again, on this channel, we don't encourage anybody to invest, you know, but I do, you know, push you guys to go ahead and make sure that you become more informed. You know, so the main thing is if you see a project that's covered on the channel and you like the project, you know, we're talking about Everfork, you know, if that's a project that, you know, you're thinking, you know, hey, I want to check that out. You know, make sure you go ahead and you um, get into the community, you know, engage, you know, with the owners of the project, the devs. Um, different community members, you know, see what you can learn. You know, that's how you're going to become a much more informed uh, person, you know, in crypto that's taking in crypto content um, instead of just listening to somebody like me and just saying, you know, hey, I like what he had to say, so I'm going to get into it. That's not how this should work. You know, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of analysis for you, and then I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and get into the communities, read the white paper, you know, engage with the community, and find out for yourself what what stands out for you in terms of, you know, hey, I want to lean more into this project, or maybe this is one I want to avoid. So with that said, if you guys are learning anything on the channel, you know, if you are um, not subscribed yet, you know, but uh, you're thinking about it, you know, by all means, please subscribe, you know, leave me a comment. I do try to engage with those. And with that said, as always, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. You guys enjoy the day, and I hope you had a good Easter holiday.